holes in my eye. All right, now I'm in the shaded zone. <laughs> but I hope you had a very Merry Christmas. And New Year's is coming up. New Year's Eve is coming up this weekend. So this past weekend, Christmas, next weekend, New Year's. So this one is, and now I'm not wearing my new hat because I don't want to get it dirty because that's a summertime hat. You know, the wool are for the, the winter. Keep your head warm. I don't want to sweat all in that one and make it look. That's, I like my new cracking hat. crack a lacka But I hope y'all, did you take my advice and buy someone a Sally? You know, you need a Sally. Got to have that neck massager. You know how much? I probably spent a good two and a half, three hours, four, maybe four hours this past Christmas break with this wrapped. Oh, yeah. When you was laying in bed, you lay on your side, you just wrap it around and, and you just move it up and down. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm ready to do my pre-trip here. It's sad. Four days of trying to sleep in. But, oh, yeah, okay. See, first night, I was up at, like, 3 a.m. Maybe before that. Second night was up, like, 3.34 my dog. She likes to get up in the middle of the night and pee like an old man, you know. And, uh, yeah, and the other night, it, it's, <sighs> even this morning, I didn't set the alarm clock. I've been up since 3.30 this morning, and I laid in bed till 6.30. Three hours, laying in bed without falling asleep. But I had Sally. Sally was, it was a good three hours. Oh, wait, maybe I did a little more than four hours of Sally. <laughs> but I gotta go to Joplin, pick up my empty trailer, and go to, oh, Verona, Missouri, and pick up some choline chloride for the dairy cows. I call it booby milk and answer. It's for dairy cows or pregnant women nursing. Yes, they make human form there too. So if you're breastfeeding, oh, I was rudely interrupted. I guess I only get two minutes because I'm an ultra high def recording. But hey, I can hook you up if you're breastfeeding. I got that clot and clove, whatever, chloride, whatever. You can be like a factory. <laughs> All right, before I get myself in trouble, you know, before the end, end of the year, I better to to do and get my butt out of here and make up the money that I've missed for four days off. And, and then I got a, oh, yeah, colonoscopy in two and a half weeks. <laughs> At least I can see what fentanyl feels like. What's all the raving with these meth heads, you know? Shall we begin? Let's begin now. These used to be 388 just a little over a year ago. Now we're two for ten. It's like at least Pepsi. Pepsi at least has three for ten. And four ninety five, but two for nine. It's like this shit bullshit. What about three for thirteen? Oh wow. Yeah. Wait. Oh, it's two liter prices. They got them on the bottom for some reason. Oh, $7.50 a 12 pack, so that tells you. $15 a case. See this? This is Dollar General. 
straight bullshit. $16 a case for soda. Wow. Time to quit drinking soda. Hit tea. Just make you mad too. $3 for a two liter. Yeah, you get a one liter for two liter prices. That's another rant. Better stop before I give myself some anxiety attack. Ah, what other stuff is depressing? Let's see how much water is. Oh, my case of the sign is 6.5. And Eric's about five bucks. That's not bad, bad. Bad. Another pretty good sized paper towel for a buck. That's a rarity. My truck stinks. I need, I need some Odo Man sometimes. Let's see. Fresh linen stuff. Oh, okay. Just gotta make sure your truck smells nice and fresh and clean. Come on now. Do I need any Windex? No, I got window cleaner. Got armor on. Alright. Alright, what do I need? Snacky, snacky snacks. Long Pong Soup 225. No big deal. I'll stick with the, uh, the, uh, one dollar soups that's made in the, uh, let's see. Oh, see that? See what it says? Campbell's. Oh, it is candles. Duh. But 99 cents. Okay. It's only been worth while. Oh, wait. Chicken classics. They're the same price. The can's way bigger. It's okay. I'm going to grab the big can. Duh. Bean with bacon. I don't know. I don't know. Do, 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 do. Don't you need to know candies? Do I need cheese sauce? Cheese. For a box. Yo, four dollars for a box. Eight dollar general, which used to be two fifty a little over a year ago. Yo, the generic prices are more expensive. Crap, that's crazy. These didn't go up that much. Those used to be two dollars, dollar two twenty five. Depressing. Yeah, five thirty five for a small squeeze. Almost five bucks for a small thing. No, okay. Stupid prices. Stupid prices for stupid people. Holy crap! I want just way too much money for food now. I'm sorry, but the, the, the people I feel sorry for the most are the elderly people. Or the handicapped people that cannot fend for themselves. I'm sorry, I don't feel sorry for you if you can fend for yourself and work. Sorry, it's your own fault. But the price of food is just stupid. $16 general family got $16 for a case of soda? So $17? Like, really? You see the price of that crap? Like $3 for a two liter. <sighs> Blowing my mind, man. Nah, the era I think of sodas are done and over with, man. I bought some ginger ale and some squirt, whatever. After that, I'm gonna start getting bottles and start making tea at home and just bring it with me. Yeah, I could probably save a good $40 a week. $40 a week, or even more, if I quit drinking soda on the road, if I just bottled my own stuff. 40 bucks, that's 160 bucks a month. That can borderline to a car payment. You know, if you buy a 10,000 car, five years, 10,000, that's about 220 a month. So you're getting pretty close. In five years, you spend 10 grand on soda. Woo! Stuff blows your mind. Sometimes, we're, you know, it's the beginning of the year, we'll start sacrificing stuff. Mine's gonna be soda this year. I'm going to try to whittle down and get rid of soda, period. No more soda drinks, period. It's going to be juice, tea, flavored water, nothing that's like high in sugar or anything. Probably lose all my weight just doing that. So let's hit the road. I got, you know, some frozen sandwiches and some sodas and some of the air refresher stuff and, you know, a bag of gummy bears. Shh. All right, it's my weakness. Come on now. Gummy bears and licorice and sour gummies and things like that. I'm try to stay away from the dangers. All right. Two to do is get the Joplin, get our empty trails so we get loaded. This is not a drill. Repeat, this is not a drill. Is that all you got? Let's begin.
the cheese beats. Gotta find my trailer now. Let's see. There ain't none on the front because there ain't no OFC trailers up front. There's one straight ahead of me, but I'm wondering if that's washed out. Let's see. I better look on my Qualcomm and figure out what, what trailer I'm looking for here. It's called Message. Hit the magic circle. And we'll click that one. Come on. Trailer 5326. It is the trailer right in front of us by the yellow pole. to go far. Now I'll be in everyone else's way. Oh, man, I do a three-point turn. I'm in a pothole over there, too. <laughs> nice thing about getting our washouts here, we get a free Ziploc bag. <laughs> Time to back up. Hi. Right. You're gonna watch me while I back up. Slow down while I'm back in that trailer. Little bumpity bumpity do. Alright, let's go hook everything up so we can quit dilly dallying around and go make some money. Hmm. Let's shut off my truck so we can hear, right? We gotta turn on my, my flashers. Ah, oh. oh, silence. Silence! Silence! I tell you, see? Free zip like that. Just start saving these. Gotta wash out my pocket. I don't lose it. Alright. Just gonna go this stuff. He's two hands sometimes. Two hands. Two hands. Dropping shit. <sighs> Make sure there's a good seal. See? Uh, that works. A little rusty. Been a Rooney, you got me spinning around, baby. Spin around like a record player. Yada yada. Hmm. Daddy load. I hate it when these straps aren't put on. We'll put them on anyway, so to be continued. I know they're sealed and everything, but I don't trust it. See, now I feel a little better when even if they're sealed, they're strapped on. So that's working. There's air in there, so they must just watch this. Lights working. Flash on, flash on. You know when you got new drums? When they get all rusty like that. Oh no, those are old nasty drums. Ew, look at that. Time to change that shit. <laughs> oh. Let there be air. It's on. Usually when you unload, I always double check, make sure that peacock valve is closed. Because most people start running and like, oh crap, she's just spurting on the ground. The jaws of life are connected. <laughs> Ain't gonna fall off, that's a good thing. So, it's hooked up, all lights working, no hub leaks, just some rusty drums, but that's what it is. Hope we're good to go. Yeah, I didn't mean it hit me, but hi, all right. I'm gonna finish my stuff now and put my address in. Got nowhere I'm going, I know where I'm going, but you know, double check, you know, I'm better safe. Right, got hooked to my trailer. I'm ready to go back home now, sort of. Uh, pretty much basically got to drive back home. I mean, I live like 30 minutes from Mount Vernon, so. I'm about an hour and 10 minutes from the house. But then when I get to Mount Vernon, I gotta go about 10 miles, or 10 minutes, 10 miles south of Verona. By the time you start adding everything up in time, it's like, shoot, I went from the house, back to the house, and, and, you know. Oh shit. I better do my departure call here. I get paid for every little stop deal I do. I get paid $10. So I arrive at 10 bucks. I depart at 10 bucks. Either at a washout, pick up a trailer, or ship or a receiver. As long as it's on my call column, it's $10. Oh, I've got a smoker outside. I'm so happy I don't smoke no more. Be a little chilly standing outside. Uh, it's noon. I got an hour and 50 minutes to make it 50 miles, so I'm good. Smoke's oh. killer. Man, I can't take a ride if cars are coming from the ride. I can't take a ride if cars are coming from the left. Don't go yellow car. Okay, cool. Ah. Oh, what's a 
big bump. That bump leaving there when I get up, sometimes I spin my tires. All those new apartments and stuff across the street. Those all went up the past year. We got a crap ton more stores and stuff. That's where all the tornado, Joplin tornado went through years and years ago. All this stuff's basically new. Some of it's not. Super TT. It's a cool truck. He sells some cool cars in that lot. Some classics. Got a full tank. Full petro diesel and some death, huh? Some death. Oop. DEF. Yeah. Got that all full. These guys must not have much to do today except pick up garbage. <laughs> Easy money. Alright. Catch you in Verona. Sharona. My Verona. the road all the way here had shoulders. Like I'm driving in the middle of the road so my trailer not have to drive in the ditch. <laughs> Alright, I gotta drive over in the ditch so my trailer don't hit the car. There we go. Ah, yeah, that's cool. Mexican restaurant out here. Oh, it's for sale. Go on a la Poyoyo or whatever. Now they don't have no restaurant out here. Oh. I just seen a pentagram or whatever it was. Queen Esther, whatever deal back there. Children from, uh, I gotta take a ride right up here. The cannon is, the Memorial Park. Take 
take the next ride onto West Main Street. You see the ingredients. Dukes of Hazard tracks. You're gonna hit this track doing about 60 miles an hour, you'd surely launch a car a good, oh, 100 feet. Take the second right on the Syntex Access Road, then slide left to stay on Syntex Access oh, Road. Oh my goodness, they got a gate now? Well, I better get my pickup number. Hold on. Hmm. That's my seatbelt. Hold on, to be continued.
34, so seven miles from my exit near Joplin. That's a straight shot to Kansas City and then off to St. Joe, Missouri and off to pretty much Omaha. Drop this loaded trailer off and wind down around 10, 10.30 tonight. You know, they gotta wake up after my 10 hours up immediately, grab an empty and haul my booty to Des Moines, load that loop. Delivers to I think some Volvo, Oklahoma the next day. Tulsa, I guess, something like that. Hope y'all have a good holiday again. It is Tuesday, so basically Monday. Everybody back to work. Except kids. My youngest gonna have a rude awakening next year. You don't have no more uh, <laughs> winter break. Let's go to college. So, you know, put your kids go to school. Serenity, you gotta go to college. If not, you gotta get a full-time job and start being on your own. Sneak or swim. It's easier when you have floating devices. Like go to college and stay at home. And then you get a part-time job. You don't have to pay rent. Be smart, kiddos. I was fortunate to have a mom be able to set me up like that, but everything's happened. <laughs> Long story. It's 45 right now, I guarantee you by the time we get up north, it's going to be like zero. You can see the weather. It's snowing up north. Don't think I'll see good weather for a while. Alright, two to do.
so happy I'm done. It's 917. I'm right to the yard. Stop up the trailer. Excuse me. I thought this was a parking spot. I thought one, I think. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Gotta go get fuel. I have to do it in the morning. Oh, we're 12 hours today. How many hours did you work today? No room in this area park. She's open. Trailers and trucks parked everywhere. You can tell it's been a holiday. Ain't nobody back to work yet, really. I don't know if half the company's back to work yet. I am. Oh, we're getting fuel. Bye. We made it. We made it through a whole day of this crazy trucking lot. Oh. oh. I'm just going to start a new year next weekend, next Monday. Start another year trucking. Another year of trucking life. I have a hot date tonight with Sally, so we're going to keep it short. You know, I love you. And Jesus Christ will always love you. Remember that. If you're having a rough day, it's always going to get better. Don't worry about yesterday. Don't worry about tomorrow. Don't worry about what you're going to do now. What your crazy neighbors are doing. Now, don't worry about that. It's none of your business. Well, our crazy neighbor just makes noise all night long when she goes in her meth craze. Boy, if you live next to a meth head. <laughs> Ask my mom. She'll tell you it drives her crazy. Uh, my daughter says she's always talking to herself at night between the houses. It's the weirdest neighbor we've ever had. Thank God it's a rental, so one day she'll be gone. <laughs> All right, with that, bye. I'm out.